I can't believe how perfect this movie is for what it was trying to be. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little movie review on Top Gun Maverick from this year, 2022. Now, I had seen the original Top Gun recently and it didn't do too much for me, it was okay. If I watched it when I was a kid, I probably would have liked it a lot more. Recently though, I was on a Tom Cruise kick and I've started to go back and look at his best movies and I really, really, really like Tom Cruise for what he does and what he's contributed to films. But I don't know what it was, this movie just seemed like, ah, uh, there's like no chance I'm gonna like this movie and boy was I wrong. This is probably the best feel-good movie that I've seen in years for combining a new action blockbuster with a new cast. With everything that you love about the original Top Gun, this movie is just perfect. Normally I write up a pros and a cons, but pretty much everything I had to write down was pros, so let's jump right into the pros of this movie. They got all the little details correct. Right when I was booting up this movie, they had the 80s music kicking in. It looked just like the original Top Gun, and then um, just the normal name came up, Top Gun. They didn't say Top Gun Maverick from what I remember, so I was like, man, did I get the wrong movie? Because this is super 80s and then it just says Top Gun not Maverick but no they're really trying to make an ode to the original movie now I wasn't even old enough to understand when this movie came out or even like love this time period of music but I love that they kept it exactly how it was so people who enjoyed it back in the day it's like just the same but better and that's exactly what they should have done you have Iceman played by Val Kilmer I mean pretty much the best way you could interject him into this story. Basically, Val Kilmer is the reason that Tom Cruise hasn't been in trouble because Tom Cruise is so wild, he's gonna get in trouble wherever he goes. So it makes sense that Val Kilmer's always there to kind of save him. I would say the most emotional scene in the movie is when he is with Val Kilmer. I didn't expect it to be emotional, but it was just so, so good. And then you have Rooster being the son of this old pilot. Oh man, it's just so, every single thing that happened in the original movie, there was something to answer for in this this movie and it was all well thought out and it was all good and then I also think it had a really interesting opening you know you have Tom Cruise in the desert trying to push 10 G's that was super super interesting all in its own and then from there you know after you're into the story he goes back into Top Gun so I felt like the the intro was really good even though it had nothing to do with Top Gun loved the intro and I also feel like the love interest here was just well done like every single thing that I wanted them to do they did for me personally I love the theme of don't think just do now for in certain situations and certain people that's going to be a problem and definitely not in every situation but I think for so many people overthinking is such a big thing we have nowadays and sometimes just going out there and just doing it is really the best thing and not really worrying about how it's gonna get done just go put yourself there and I think there's that quote like 90% of success is just showing up so they have much much more of a wholesome message by the end like most of the time in other movies when rivals fight each other it's like this guy's super evil this guy's good he barely beats him destroys evil this is the winner you know but Tom Cruise movies it's like they fight they fight they fight and then they kind of come together on the same side at the end you know what I mean so um, I just like that it had a very wholesome good message without being too corny I mean if I were to say any cons to this movie I I'm really would struggle to find any the only thing that I felt was kind of slow was the original bar scene when Tom Cruise comes back to Top Gun that scene I don't know what it was that was probably my least favorite scene personally but it is Tom Cruise kind of going through the mud coming back dealing with all the stuff there but that was the only scene that I felt kind of slow-ish I don't know if I would take it out though I, I really did enjoy it for what it was and then also the football scene like I just don't think you could get all these generation Z people to not be on their phone and to just enjoy football this much maybe it's just me I, I would like to think they'd be that into it but it just seems like I don't know if you could get the whole Generation Z to be just into playing football when they have their phones and all this kind of stuff. So anyways, guys, I loved this movie. It was pretty much near perfect. I would give it a 9 out of 10 and a buy, try, or pass. I would say it's a strong buy. I love this movie. And I don't know if I would put this higher than Mission Impossible Fallout because I love that movie. But boy, Tom Cruise, I just... I'm loving what you're doing. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Top Gun. What would you rate this movie down below? We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. Hope you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.